Hello, everybody. I'm continuing with the retrograde masterclass. And today I'm talking about Rahu Ketu, who are forever retrograde. Uh, what is the difference between, of Rahu Ketu and the other planets who occasionally retrograde? Uh, let's learn. Hello, I'm Komila Sutton and I'm talking about Rahu Ketu today and uh, their forever retrograde energy. You see, all the other planets will retrograde, uh, you know, once a year or once uh, every two years or like Mercury retrogrades multiple times. Uh, but Rahu Ketu are forever retrograde. So therefore, their role in our chart is different from uh, the other planets, because uh, when they that is the only nature they know. So uh, I I'm putting a link up of the retrograde master classes. So I've done all now. We are coming on to Rahu Ketu. So the main thing about Rahu Ketu is they are opposite ends of the chart. Therefore, they are creating a disturbance in two areas uh, in our life, and uh, they will be. Uh, one of them can be positive, the other is more difficult. So we are like push and pull all the time. And uh, they are uh, half the story only. So uh, unlike the other planets who are complete in themselves, so if they are retrograde, they are retrograde, it's about their signification, but Rahu has Ketu and Ketu has Rahu. So in order to understand them, we have to understand both of them. And they are uh, pulling us in two different directions uh, and uh, they are going retrograde all the time. So we can see that Rahu Ketu have some very positive impact as well in the chart and especially in a modern world with the tech and alternative things there uh, and internet and all the kind of cyberspace that they are very important there. Now, but the key thing to remember is that uh, Rahu uh, and Ketu both can take you outside uh, the boundaries because they're doing something totally different all the time. So they are uh, unlike uh, the other planets who have to learn how to behave retrograde. Rahu Ketu are retrograde all the time. So that's all they know. Therefore, if they are very influenceable in, uh, influenceable in your chart, uh, they can uh, create a uh, uh, very unusual situations for you, make you go out of uh, uh, bounds. It can make you uh, do things that nobody else does. I notice charts of people who are extremely successful uh, and they became successful during Ketu Dasha because Ketu is not knowing boundaries. It's doing something different. It's bringing past life talent alive today. So something you've struggled with previous life, it suddenly comes and gives you that talent now. So uh, Ketu will uh, do that. Rahu itself is exploring, going out, is not afraid of anything. You know, in Rahu's mantra, they say, um, Mahaviryam, uh, Ardhakayam Mahaviryam. So he's half man, but he's greatly powerful. So he has no fear to go into uh, anything. He will be afraid, him, give you fear, but he has no fear himself to go into unusual places. So what it does is that you can yourself get uh, out of control because you're uh, in exploring the situation, you have no fear. But then when you go in there, then you realize, oh, this is too much, uh, too big to handle. I don't know how I'm going to handle it. So it gives fear and anxiety. But on this level of achievement, Rahu Ketu are, uh, control all the other planets. So they are the most powerful. They are the most... Uh, have the ability to give you anything. On the negative side, uh, you know, they can be, they are shadowy, uh, they can work on your psychology. Rahu can definitely make you feel very anxious and fearful and afraid. And Ketu can make you feel rejected by situations. And the biggest issue about Rahu Ketu is that they're always going backwards, you know. So they're always uh, thinking like Ketu is always thinking about the past. K Rahu is always thinking about the future, uh, but it's not thinking in the 
positive way because always a negative thought what will happen to the future what will i do and then sometimes that is good because you are afraid f- what future will bring you double your effort you do double things but it can also have a, a negative effect too but one of the things i realized with uh, uh, rahu ketu both of them is that they come into a sign at the end of the sign uh and then they move backward so uh, for example just uh, uh, when rahu comes into a new sign so it's into gemini then he's come into the last degree of gemini first not the first degree like other planets even other retrograde planets do the normal process you know you go in and then you go to the other end whereas rahu and ketu they both go into the deep end first and then they learn to swim uh, it's not that they know how to swim right in the beginning so sometimes they appear i know everything i know all the knowledge but it's not really they don't know because it's only by the time they reach the end of the sign they understand and the same thing with the dashas uh, you jump in uh, feet forward without thinking uh, for ketu with overthinking for rahu and you don't really know what you get yourself into especially rahu dasha because rahu wants to consume he will go in straight and backward uh, so he's going into the biggest issue the biggest thing first and then by the end of the dasha he realizes oh what did i do uh, with you know how i've learned it so of course it can work both ways that experience can give you a uh, great experience whereas it can also give you difficult experience now ketu because it is no head uh, ketu is all about intuition and about uh, internalizing so we have to see with ketu also that at times uh, we don't totally know what the meaning is we just going with the heart and it is headless and it's moving in the backward direction so therefore if you get into some situation you go back and back and back and get yourself more and more entangled in the situation rather than being able to get out of it and the main thing with ketu is that it is a past karma which is dead and gone and we have to learn how to let go in both cases in rahu ketu uh, we le- need to let go but because we are not thinking uh, directly about them we are thinking in a odd ball fashion uh, we find it way more difficult to let go of rahu ketu issues than any other issues so when uh, but i think that the, the key factor with rahu ketu is that uh, you need to understand that they are um, comfortable in this mode uh, as against the other retrograde planets the other retrograde planets are unnatural in this mode for rahu ketu this is what they are so therefore we ne- need to celebrate them and understand them that and each one of us have rahu ketu so therefore that means that we are born here so we have to deal with rahu ketu uh, i will put the links up all the links uh, up for everything and uh, Uh, do remember that question answers are still on so uh, send me the question answers and uh, for rahu ketu other retrograde planets and uh, i will be doing a special uh, uh, question answer for uh, rahu ketu thank you very much